Those of you that follow me on Instagram already know what this video is about. But if you don't, today we are working on a Toyota RAV4 with an ABS issue. The ABS, VSC, and four-wheel drive lights are illuminated on the dashboard. When I scanned the car, I got the following codes. The first thing I did was clear the codes to see which ones would come back and then went for a drive. Almost immediately, the lights came back on with the same codes stored. I used an oscilloscope to check the electrical signal generated by the sensors. I checked both front sides to compare them to each other. Here's the left side. You can see the generated square wave. There are no brakes, just a clean signal. Then I switched to the right side and here is the signal. You can see that every so often there is a drop in the signal. Based on this, I don't think that the problem is with the sensor or with the wiring. I'm still learning how to use and interpret the oscilloscope readings, but I think if it was a sensor there wouldn't be a signal at all. Based on these readings, I want to take a look at the ABS tone ring on the right side. I removed the wheel and the ABS sensor, then I separated the hub assembly from the lower control arm by removing the three 17mm bolts underneath. Then I took off the axle nut and lifted the hub assembly and slid out the CV axle. On this car the tone ring is part of the wheel bearing assembly and you can see all the rust and dirt collected and magnetized here. I think this debris is causing an interference with the sensor. I cleaned off all this debris with a dry cloth and put everything back together. I also cleaned the tip of the sensor as well before replacing it. Everything was replaced in the order it was removed and the codes were cleared. The car was then taken for a drive and the codes have not returned. So don't jump to replace the sensor if you get a code for it. If I had done that, the codes would not have disappeared because the dirt and the shavings would still be there between the tone ring and the sensor. It turns out that the oscilloscope I recently bought is proving itself to be quite useful. I'm actually working on another video with a Jeep um, trying to diagnose a crank position sensor. And if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so. And as always, thank you for watching.